Hey everyone, this is Marlon Fanatic 95, and uh, I'm gonna be talking about Transformers Sword discussion number nine here today. And uh, first of all, we have some official photos released from MichaelBay.com. Um, the first three are all of Michael Bay himself um, looking at some footage that they just filmed. Um, we really can't see too much of what, what he's looking at, but uh, it looks like um, you know he's just you know watching it, playing it back, seeing if it works well. And also, um, in one of these photos, there is a, a little uh, head bust of Bumblebee uh, made out of some spare parts. That's pretty cool. Um, that's not going to be his actual head design in Transformers 4. A couple people have speculated that online. Um, that will not be his new head design. It's just made out of some spare parts and stuff. But uh, And also, we have uh, one more official image, and this one is kind of like a still, but not really. Um, it's of uh, Mark Wahlberg, uh, Nicola Peltz, and Jack Rayner, and all just kind of posing for a photo, um, kind of just for like a promotional photo for the movie. And um, it looks like they are in Texas in front of a old gas station. So that's pretty cool. Um, uh, one thing I want to talk about, and um, it's funny, I'm thinking about it because I want to talk about this anyway, but I also noticed that uh, Alex, you talked about this as well. A lot of people are talking about um, how they don't want to see the human stuff, and they want to see the Transformers. They want to see what they look like. They want them to release um, what um, the CGI renders um, and all that stuff. Um, gotta have patience. This stuff is not going to be coming out anytime soon. Um, if anything, it'll be in early 2014 at the earliest, I think, um, when we get the trailer and stuff. I mean... Uh, Nelson has said that they're still working on the designs of Optimus and Bumblebee, um, so they're not done yet. Don't expect to see the Transformers when they're still filming the movie. That's not how movies work. That's not how any movies work, and not not just Transformers. I mean, any movie that uses CGI, you film the movie and then you go into post production to make um, whatever CGI stuff you have to make. So for people complaining, but no, this is all Michael Bay's fault or whatever. Um, that we're not getting uh, the designs or anything. Um, that's that's stupid and and it's illogical and it's uh, it doesn't make sense. That's how movies are made. Um, first you have the human stuff and then the CGI stuff. Just wanted to put that out there. Um, also, I want to talk about um, the dreads. Um, are the dreads back in Transformers Four? Um, there was some photos taken of a dread um, with the Pagani and the Freightliner truck um, in Chicago, and uh, they're rolling together in the order of the Pagani, then the um, Chevy Suburban, and then uh, the Freightliner. Uh, we still don't know if the Freightliner is um, an Autobot or Decepticon yet. I'm still kind of leading towards Autobot for now, just uh, my personal opinion on the matter. Uh, but could the Dreads be back, um, or could it be... I mean, one of them could have technically survived, or could it be a new member, which is, I think, more likely. I think there is going to be, um, maybe, like, uh, this is the alt mode that uh, some group of Decepticons always are going to take. Um, just kind of like the Viacons in uh, Transformers Prime, they all are the same looking type car. So... I think that it's going to be a new character that is also going to be in the Dreads group. Um, but it's not going to be Crowbar or Hatchet or any of them. I mean, it, it's it's going to be an all-new Dread character. And also, um, now that we have confirmation that the a Dread character is going to be um, in the movie, um, or Chevy Suburban, rather, you don't really know for sure if it's a Dread, um, there was a Chevy Suburban with Ratchet in Chicago a while back, and Ratchet was kind of uh, dirty and muddy and stuff. But he was right next to a, uh, a car show or something like that. Um, and it was kind of hard to tell. Is he in the car show? Is he? What's he there for? But I wouldn't think he's there for a car show if he's all muddy and stuff. So I do think he... I did think that he was there for filming, but he was also spotted with a Chevy Suburban that looked just like one of the dreads from Dark of the Moon. And now we're seeing a uh, Chevy Suburban being filmed. So my conclusion is that Ratchet is going to be in Transformers for at least for a short while, uh, maybe to get killed off in the beginning of the movie or something to that effect. Uh, but I don't think he's going to be a main character, especially since we haven't seen him that much. 
So my guess is maybe he gets killed off, uh, if something happens to him, he leaves, but I do think that he is going to be in the movie. Um, also, I want to talk about uh, um, they are, uh, Nelson uh, um, released some character information um, about some of the Transformers. First, he was explaining what Hound um, was like, and he said, Hound reminds me of the bearded chubby fellow in Braveheart. He might take the cake when it comes to personality. Now, uh, that pretty much confirms that Hound is the, the bearded Transformer seen on the, the, the stick in, um, Chicago, in uh, Detroit filming, rather. And um, we haven't seen that since, but we saw that one time, and kind of thought it was Hound at first, so this pretty much does confirm that that is Hound, because that is the only bearded Transformer. I mean, I doubt there's two bearded Transformers, so I'm guessing that that is Hound, and um, Nelson said he's going to have a lot of character, so um, that's always good to see. So I'm interested to see uh, how, what, what the character, I've never seen Braveheart, unfortunately, but uh, I'd like to see that um, Hound um, kind of has like kind of a, uh, um, I don't know, I, I, I'd like to see a personality in the character, um, just more than the generic soldier that some of the Autobots and Decepticons have been, so it'd be cool to, you know, see that happen. And um, also, uh, Nelson um, went to uh, the filming, and uh, he saw some stuff, and he signed a non-disclosure agreement, so we can't say too much. But he was able to drop a couple of hints. Um, first of all, he said that uh, um, you know Optimus and Bumblebee are still being uh, tweaked on, like I like I said earlier. And um, he said the Optimus looks grand and Bumblebee looks sleek. And uh, so that's um, interesting to see. I wonder how sleek he's going to be. Um, I know he wasn't really that bulked up in the past three movies, so. Uh, Interesting to see. Uh, I, I really can't wait to see the new designs of Optimus and Bumblebee because they're probably going to be the only characters returning. They're going to have new designs. Um, if any others return, it's probably going to be for a short while and we'll probably have the same designs. So these two characters will have different looking designs and I can't wait for that. Um, Nelson was shown a five minute sizzle reel and he said it was amazing. And um, also, um, he did say that uh, something about the catering trucks now are from California rather than local catering trucks. And that is probably um, to do with uh, the leaked call sheet. So that's kind of funny. Um, and uh, also, um, filming will be at the Wulong Karst Geology Park in China later this year. Um, I have no idea where that is, but I looked at some pictures, and it looks like a pretty neat area, so I'm uh, not sure what's going to exactly happen there. And also, uh, filming is going to be moving on to Washington State next. Um, Chicago has wrapped up, I believe, with uh, filming at those silos where they had the mother of all bombs, as they called it. And uh, you can see that picture here. And um, So they're going to move on to Washington, they're going to move on to China, and then they're going to be done. Um, expect a trailer in uh, sometime in January, and uh, the movie will be in the summer. So it's getting closer. Um, I I do expect a trailer to be in December. I, I really do because I know that one's kind of quote unquote scheduled for January, or at least you know that's kind of the main guess since it's the first quarter of the year we're going to have a trailer. But I think we're going to have a teaser in December. Don't hold me to that. It's just my own thoughts, but I do think that that's going to happen. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this update. Uh, not a whole lot going on, but um, as filming is wrapping up, and uh, they're going to be moving on to post-production pretty soon. So that is when we're going to get a ton of information about the characters and the plot and everything. So can't wait for all that stuff to happen. And this movie is definitely getting closer Cannot wait. It's going to be an awesome ride. So uh, that is it. I am Marlon from 1995, and I will see you next time. The rumors could be true. And in fact, what you've got is Samurai or one of the cons for an Autobot. Um, off, uh, way back, um, that rumor 
surface and uh, that his name would be Drift. Uh, Nelson said that it is not Drift, uh, like the reviewers have said. 